someone should do an autopsy on the death of Bastion Misawa. In the anime, he started off as a very promising character, sporting one deck for each of the attributes, taking down the Chaz, and even giving Jaden a run for his money. But after that was a steady decline until he was simply written out altogether. In his few duels though, he showcased a couple of different strategies, the most prominent of which is the water deck, which specifically revolves around the chemistry behind how water molecules are formed. In this showcase, I'll build on that into one giant chemistry deck. For the longest time, this deck consisted of only its initial members, Hydrogedon, Oxygedon, and Water Dragon, with its accompanying summoning spell, Bonding H2O. In 2014, a new addition to the monster lineup came out, Carbonedon, which wasn't much to write home about. But then in 2017, the chemistry archetype got a few more cards, which included Duoterion, which can search for any bonding spell or trap by discarding it, and then two more bonding spells and traps, Bonding D2O and Bonding DHO. Capping it all off was the new Water Dragon, Water Dragon Cluster. Unfortunately, these cards weren't designed to be competitive at all and have aged poorly as a result. It's still a chore to summon Water Dragon and we have yet to still solve the mystery behind the never released Fire Dragon in the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX intro. For context, this is a monster seen alongside Misawa, but we never see it in the actual episodes, manga, and certainly not in the real life game. The premise of the chemistry deck is to build more on the scientific precision. For example, H2O makes water. But there are other elements and compounds we can make use of to create other bosses. Personally, I think the 2017 support was a missed opportunity because it could have turned Water Dragon into a fusion so that you wouldn't have to run the risk of drawing it. Alas, in the spirit of not totally undoing Konami's work, I'll keep Water Dragon as it is, but the new bonding products will be fusion monsters. There are two new additions to the main deck Element Dinosaurs, first of which is Magnesodon. This guy can be summoned from your hand or grave by shuffling one monster that must be summoned by a bonding card from your hand or grave into the deck, but if summoned this way, is banished when it leaves the field. For good measure, this guy can't be used as Xyz material to avoid laggy and Dolka spam, which for 2024 probably isn't that big a deal, but I assume that's the reason why Konami has yet to release inherent summoning in level 4 dinos. Anywho, his other effect is especially where he shines, letting you fusion summon a monster that must be special summoned by a bonding card by using materials from your hand or field, and this is treated as a fusion summon with a bonding card. The other is Illumidon, who can be special summoned from hand or grave if one of those bonding summoned monsters is destroyed, but if summoned from the grave, he gets banished when he leaves the field. His other effect is Prisma-like, letting you reveal one fusion monster in your extra deck that must be summoned by a bonding card, then sending one of the fusion materials whose name is mentioned on that card, then like the ever-malleable Aluminum, this guy takes on that name and attribute for as long as he's on the field, or until you use the effect again. And now we get into the extra deck starting with the long-awaited Fire Dragon. Fire is created with fuel, heat, and oxygen. As such, the materials for this card are Oxygedon, a fire monster, and then whichever fuel source you use, i.e. your bonding card. On Fusion Summon, he sets fire to the back row, destroying all spells and traps. Also, your opponent can't fight fire with fire, meaning he can't be destroyed in battle with a fire monster. Finally, as a quick effect, you can extinguish the fire by tributing this card to send two water dinosaurs from your deck to the grave, and if you do, you can send all fire monsters on the field to the grave. Next is the Poison Dragon, the Carbon Monoxide, composed of one Oxygenon and one Carbonedon. Must be special summoned with a bonding card. While you control this fusion summon card, monsters with less attack than this card cannot activate their effects on the field during the turn they are special summoned. So basically poisoning others with summoning sickness. And then if he's destroyed and sent to the grave, he floats by special summoning one dinosaur monster from your grave. Also the poison in the air sets all monsters your opponent controls ablaze, turning them into fire attribute. Finally, we have Alloy Dragon, a fusion of the new guys Magnesodon, and one monster with the original name of Illumidon. So even if you change his name via his effect, he's still aluminum and can be used for this dragon. Must be summoned by a bonding card just like the others, and he can't be targeted or destroyed by opposing card effects, playing on the fact that Magnalium is resistant to corrosion. And once per turn you can target one card on the field, and by sending a dinosaur sea serpent monster from deck to grave, you can return that target to the hand. Got three spells to work with, two of which are bonding spells. First up is Bonding Chemical Waste, which, much like it sounds, fusions using monsters in your grave as material because they are waste. The point of this card is to follow suit with all the other archetypes from GX that have a fusion spell using monsters from your grave, whether that be Overload Fusion, Miracle Fusion, and even the one that was adopted from the manga for the Vehicroids. 
Then there's Unstable Bonding, the one quick play spell of the Bonding Bunch. This lets you send two dinosaurs with different attributes to the grave, one from your hand or field and one from the deck. Then you can bring out any of the three fusions mentioned previously from your extra deck or Water Dragon from your main deck. But because it's unstable, that monster can't attack, its effects on the field are negated, and it is destroyed in the end phase. So what's the point? Well, it loads up your grave and can also let you access either the floating effect of poison when it's destroyed in the end phase, or the grave loading effect of fire and the extinguishing effect that comes with it. Finally, we have Combustion, which turns all monsters currently on the field into fire attribute until the end of the turn. Also, if a water monster battles a fire monster, that fire monster's attack and defense become zero during damage calculation only. So not only does this allow you to take advantage of cards that are super effective against fire monsters, like Water Dragon, Fire Dragon, and Carboneton, but it really helps you trigger Hydrogeton, since it can now attack over anything. This card also has a grave effect letting you banish shit and one bonding spell or trap to add back a water monster in your grave. So something like Duoterion to get your bonding plays going again, or adding back Hydrogeton to attack over whatever you turned into fire. Alright, let's go through a demonstration of the chemistry deck. So we are going to open up with, that was nice to see, Duoterion. We can discard him to add a bonding spell or trap from deck to hand. Let's grab Unstable Bonding. We can now summon Illumidon, use its effect to send a, well, reveal a fusion monster from our deck, extra deck that requires being summoned by a bonding card. So let's reveal Poison Dragon. And then we can send one of its materials that's named on it. So in this case, Carbonetton or Oxygedon from our deck to our grave. So we will send Oxygedon. And so Illumidon will take on the name of Oxygedon as well as its attribute. So in this case, Wind. Let's use Unstable Bonding to send two dinosaurs with different attributes to the grave, one from the hand or field and one from the deck. So let's send that Illumidon and send Miscellaneosaurus to bring out any of our fusion monsters that require being summoned by a bonding card or a water dragon from our deck. Let's bring out Fire Dragon. The Fire Dragon along with Poison Dragon are the two cards that will be able to still get at least one of their effects to go off. Unstable Bonding typically negates the effects of the card that we summon that also can't attack and they're destroyed during the end phase. But Poison Dragon has an effect that activates when it's destroyed and Fire Dragon has an effect that activates but gets it off the field so it's no longer uh, restricted by the effect negation of unstable bonding. So this is going to combo well with combustion because combustion is a card that turns all other monsters on the field to fire attribute and then we can extinguish the board with fire dragon by tributing it to send two water dinosaurs from our deck to our grave and if we do send all fire monsters on the field to the graveyard. So we'll send those two hydro get ons and then whatever monsters we turned into fire or were already fire with combustion we will be able to get rid of them with our fire dragon effect. All right, let's keep going. Combustion has a graveyard effect. We can banish it with a bonding spell or trap from our grave to add back a water monster from our grave to our hand. So that'll set up our Duoterion for our next turn. It has a hard one to return, so we can't use its effect just now. But on our next turn, we'd be able to get another bonding spell or trap. In this case, what would make most sense is the bonding uh, with the waste cards, with the wasted chemicals, since we have a graveyard loaded up pretty good. So let's do exactly that on our next turn. Bonding chemical waste. Well, you can use that to then fusion summon a fusion monster from our extra deck using the materials that are mentioned on it from our graveyard. But before we do that, we can also, we haven't even gotten into our soul eating over raptor. This is a generic dinosaur support card, which on summon can either take a dinosaur monster from our deck and either add it to our hand or send it to the grave. So we could add something like Magnesodon or send something like Carbonetton. Now with the effect of chemical waste, we can banish Oxygedon and Carbonetton to bring out our Carbon Monoxide, our Poison Dragon, who has the effect that when it's while we control a fusion summon, this fusion summon card, monsters with less attack than this card cannot activate their effects on the field during the turn they are special summoned. So a pretty nice little summoning sickness against all other monsters or combo pieces that our opponent may try to throw out onto the board. Another thing that we could bring out instead of the Poison Dragon is instead some Magnesodon by returning the Fire Dragon from our deck to the grave, then use Miscellaneosaurus from our graveyard to be able to banish four dinosaur monsters from our grave and summon Illumidon from our deck. Now we can use Illumidon's effect. Uh, I know I added Magnesodon and Carbonetton sent to the grave with the effect of Soul Eater Over Raptor. So let's pretend that with Illumidon, I send Carbonetton from deck to grave. Scratch what I'm about to send here. So now we can use Magnesodon's on field effect to fusion summon one fusion monster from the extra deck 
using the materials from our hand or field. So in this case, Magnesodon and our monster with the original name of Lumidon to bring out our alloy dragon. And now we can proceed with our chemical waste. Again, use Carbonedon and Oxygedon to bring out the poison dragon. So now we have the guy who's unaffected or can't be targeted or destroyed by our opponent's card effects and can also bounce cards on the field. And then we have our poison dragon, which is gonna grant summoning sickness to any opponent's monster that they put on the board that has less than 2,800 attack. So that is a demonstration with the chemistry deck. So that does it for the chemistry deck. Hope you enjoy it. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe for two weeks from now. Dude, we're gonna end the year on a relaxing note. Nothing but good vibes for the holidays.